Welcome back to uh, another episode of Waters Ironworks. We are continuing our work through the uh, Abana Level 1 National Curriculum. Uh, these next couple projects are leading up to us making our own monkey tool. It's a tool used to tend shoulders, which is going to be important when we get to the gate latch project. So the first thing we need to do as part of that is make a drift. This is going to be used to resize the hole in our monkey tool. Um, so we've got six and a half inches here of 41, uh, 42. We're gonna take that down so it forms a drift that's a half by seven eighths. Nice long taper on it. A uh, little short stubby taper on the back end here, trying to keep a lot of meat in there as we drive it through. Um, nothing overly complicated about this. This is very similar to the chisel that we've made and some of these other uh, handheld punching tools. Um, so let's get it hot and start hammering away. All right, so we're gonna come in first, a little bit of an angle here, forge an initial taper, a little bit longer than the piece that we want to drift. Just a little over one inch. This is just doing some prep work here. We're gonna, I'll get this hot again, take another heat and come in and forge this down the other direction next. Same thing in the other direction. A little bit of a taper here. We need this to be at least as long as that one inch I was talking about. And we're gonna come in here and we're gonna chamfer the corners on this. Might have been a little overly aggressive on that first uh, first taper, but that'll be okay. We'll flatten things out here a little bit. So what we're working on here is the struck end of our tool. We do want to leave it nice and meaty. That looks pretty good. So we don't want to make this uh, thin, right? We're going to be hammering on this end as we drive our drift through. If you get it too thin, it's going to bend on you. It's going to deform. So you want it thin enough so that as this drops through the piece of steel, it reaches this back end, which narrows from the thickest point, and then it falls through the hole that you're producing. So as long as you've got a bit of a taper here, um, you're gonna be in pretty good shape. Just make sure it's at least as long, like I said, as the material you're gonna be driving it through. For us, that's uh, some one inch stock. Let's flip this around and start working on the business end. So I'm gonna pick one of my faces, make sure I'm in alignment with that. We're gonna start tapering this down. This is a three quarter inch piece of steel. We want seven eight, so we need some spreading here. We'll keep it from going too excessive on us. We're starting to forge this. We want to keep a close eye on things as we're working. <clears throat> the slot punch we're going to forge next is uh, an eighth by seven eighths inch. So this is going to need to come down quite a bit more. The eventual hole we want to drift is an inch by, or I'm sorry, a half inch by seven eighths. So I'm going to need to take all this material from here back down to this half inch. Um, to get us our final hole size. So we'll heat it up and we'll continue to work our way back here. Um, we're, I think, well over our 7 eighths inch there, eh, maybe close to it. So we're going to try not to let it spread too much wider. Um, once we get this all down to a half inch, we'll come and we'll put a little more taper on this, taking us down to an eighth inch, kind of getting everything nice and squared away.
I ignored my own advice earlier. I did not make sure I was on the same uh, flat. It's my back end, so I just need to fix that here. Maybe real careful toward the back end. Take a lot of frequent measurements. Really want to make sure I don't forge this too thin here. We wind up a little proud of a half inch. That will be fine. That way when we go in and we do our grinding. Um, we'll grind it a little thinner. We're about the right thickness through here. This part's a little wide still. So I'm gonna take another heat and narrow that down. But right about the thickness I want to be at when we're done forging this. So we'll take this down and then we'll start working the other taper here. right where I want to be through the thick part here. So now I'm going to readjust my calipers and we're going to start working this down to 7 8 We're about hot. I've got this set a little fat of the 7 8 that we need. So we don't need to take it down a ton as we go through here. We're just going to start by drawing this down a little bit more since we do need to get it down to 1 8 Since we know we're pretty close to our 7 eighths, we can keep those sides from spreading too much here. It's looking pretty close to an eighth to me. Let's heat this up and start working our way back a little bit. Any bumps like we can see right here, I want to work those out. <clears throat> Keep it all nice and smooth. This is right about our 7 eighths here at the half inch. So I think mostly what we're going to do is a little bit of cleanup work on it. Um, smooth it out, straighten it out, and then we'll take a look and see if we're ready for the grinder.
So we're starting to get a nice long flat taper here on both sides. That's looking pretty good. This three quarter inch bar, when you flatten it down to half inch, it's gonna take you right there about that seven eighths you need. So not a lot of work to do on the back end. A little bit here, I'll probably just hit that with the file. I think we're actually looking like we're in pretty good shape for the hammer work here. Check and see how that is against our 1-8 that we're gonna need, but I think it's probably pretty close. So let's let this cool down a little bit, um, and then we'll start hitting with the files. Nothing too crazy in this. I just wanna make sure everything is nice and smooth here. We don't have any bumps that are gonna catch as we're drifting. So I'm just gonna go through each side. Give it a little bit of a clean up here. There's a little bit of a, a bump right here. Um, I'll file that a little smoother. Make that transition a little more even. some fish slipping going on here on the back uh, that'll probably go to one of our 2x72s or a stone wheel or something like that just to flatten that out give me a nice spot to hit definitely bring these back corners in so there's nothing for it to catch on I think that's looking pretty good overall I'm gonna take this and back hit it on the <coughs> wire wheel, just knock the rest of the scale off of it. And we'll take some final measurements and see where we're at. So there's our eighth inch, right out there about seven eighths. When I measure, this is at seven eighths, a little at sixteenth over. So we're actually right where I wanna be. Through this, down to the eighth inch by seven eighths we'll need um, from the slot punch. So this is ready to go. Um, optionally, we could uh, heat treat this if we wanted to, but drifts especially, um, they sometimes spend a fair bit of time in a hot piece of steel, which will ruin your heat treatment and your temper. The fact that this is 4142, it's a high or medium carbon steel. We're gonna be punching through some uh, mild steel, I think for the monkey tool. Um, this is gonna hold up just fine. Um, I think if I bothered heat treating this, it would probably, like I said, mess up my temper pretty quickly, um, drifting through all that hot steel. So we'll leave it at that and say that we are good with our hammer eye drift here. And uh, we're on to the slot punch to match up with this and then we'll make our monkey tool. So I'll see you guys next time for that slot punch.